All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we have a number of announcements that I'd like to make. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is our monthly newsletter. Here on the blog, if you have not already signed up, go to our blog, figboss.com. You can put your email in right on here. Subscribe for free, and you get all kinds of fig-related information every month that I'm going to be sending to you guys. It's pretty cool. I'm happy that it's actually working now, and so uh, I'm really happy about that. Um, also, we're going to be doing a giveaway, and so please stay to the end. I'm going to list out the cause, what we're donating to, how you guys can be a part of it, all the little details, what you guys are going to get back. There is going to be um, three winners, and we're going to do a raffle, $10 entry for the raffle, and uh, it's going to be a lot of nice prizes that you guys can win. I think for uh, a pretty uh, cheap price. And so the cause we'll get into in a minute, uh, but that's in support of great chiropractic care. And so I wanna share with you guys a little bit about my health journey as well in this video and how I think chiropractic care has really helped me and my health. Uh, so the first thing let's talk about though is actually the fig cutting sale. And so if we go to the monthly newsletter post that I sent out to everybody who actually has the... Uh, is signed up for the newsletter. Uh, we talked about very briefly here that the fig cutting sale is gonna end very soon. And so I know that, um, you know, I wish it could last forever. I wish I had a lot of inventory to continue selling, but we're running out. And so uh, not only that, but I have to get back to my, my life of working with taxes. So instead of uh, putting as much time as I have into figs lately, we're slowing down that and kind of ramping up tax season. And so that's just kind of naturally how everything happens. But uh, we're trying to get rid of the rest of the inventory that I have. And so if you're interested in anything that's left, again, everything's on FigBid. I would highly recommend, though, if you guys uh, want to know what I have available, you got to check out what's listed here. And if you don't want to deal with FigBid, you don't want to do that, you can always contact me individually, and I'll be happy to send you guys an invoice um, either through PayPal or Square, however you guys want to do that. And so that way you can avoid uh, PayPal or um, FigBit, excuse me, entirely. But we still have some listings, not a lot, but we got some really nice varieties left. And I, I sort of talk about that here in the newsletter that I sent out. One of which I will highlight very quickly is called Bergen Unknown. And Bergen Unknown was a fig that Brian Melton, he's a commercial grower in Fresno. He's a good friend of mine. He sent me some figs of this actually off his own trees grown in California, caprified a couple of years ago. We did a video on it and I got to taste it. And I swear to you, to this day, it's still one of the best tasting figs I've had. It's so complex. It tastes like a black Madeira, but it has this amazing caramel and figgy flavor to it. It's so good. Um, and I'm surprised that people haven't been like gobbling it up. It's at a cheap price. I think it's a very fair price. And I think it's gonna be a variety that does well in a, a pretty good range of climates because it ripens early. And so I don't know how well it's going to do in a humid place just yet. My in-ground tree is getting established. It's going to survive this winter, hopefully, now that I've covered it. I have a potted tree that got to ripen at the very end of the season that I air-layered last year for my tree last year. Um, and so this year, we're going to get fruit off of hopefully both trees. I'll get to really evaluate it. But it's going to do really well in a dry place. I know that for sure. It ripens really early, so you can grow this in a more mild and dry place. Um, and you can also grow this somewhere really hot and dry, like Southern California or where Brian is in Fresno. It also, I hear, tastes really good uncaprified. So it doesn't need to be caprified. It's, uh, it's common. And so to me, I think it's like, I don't know why people are not gobbling it up. Same thing with uh, Colonel Lippmann's Black Cross. It's a Black Madeira replacement that's basically going to perform better than Black Madeira for the majority, pe majority of people in the United States. There is the uh, sunlight requirement. Kind of like how Smith requires a bit more light, but it's still an amazing fig. Same thing with the Bourgeoisie. It's definitely a cold Dom replacement that I recommend for drier places. We also got Panache and Noir de Barbantin are great options for commercial growers out there. And then Col Noir or Sucret is an amazing choice for people in colder places and humid places. Uh, that fig has really been proven in 7A. My friend... Steve in Maryland, he's in 7A and has basically really let me know this year how amazing it is for him. And so he says it's extremely hardy, and I know how really good it performs in the in humid weather. So I planted my tree actually in the ground out front, and I can't wait to see what it does. It's such an incredibly good tasting fig too, 
<clears throat> and it's really among the best, one of the best varieties I've got. Uh, so I would highly recommend that. I don't know why that fig doesn't get more attention, to be honest with you. We did also recap some of the, the posts that we've been talking about here on the blog in the last uh, few weeks. I've been kind of wrapping things up uh, at the end of the season now. And so a lot of things like uh, varieties with a shorter hang time, unique and underrated varieties, the best f new, f new fig varieties, the best overall fig varieties. I mean, we're talking about like everything here on the blog and kind of putting it all together and making it available to you guys. Sharing information, right? Um, so let's talk about the giveaway really quickly. Um, the giveaway is in support of good chiropractic care. And I talked a little bit about my health journey in prior years and prior videos that we, we actually donated a year prior. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. I think it was last year. We donated like 350 bucks to functional medicine. And so that was a, a great cause because functional medicine kind of convinced me to um, do an elimination diet. And so I was really not doing well, actually, health-wise for a while. Um, <clears throat> I didn't realize it, but the food I was eating was basically making me sick. And so gluten and dairy had become very – I became very sensitive to those foods. And, of course, the chemicals and different things that are in it, hormones, all kinds of antibiotics, all kinds of things, glyphosate. So essentially I, you know, stopped eating them. And through functional medicine, I learned so much about my own health. I learned about so many different topics in health. And I really uh, appreciate everything that they do at functional medicine. And so we donated to that cause to help uh, other doctors become more aware of functional medicine. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy we did it now. Of course, my health journey has changed even further. And so I've really like actually chiropractic care in so many different ways. There's different types of chiropractic care as well that I've learned about recently. And so my doctor, Dr. Jim, he's in the area has been just, I mean, I don't want to brag too much, but he's really been like a miracle worker. Um, I didn't realize exactly how bad my posture was. I didn't realize how bad my spine was aligned until I saw him and got an x-ray and saw it for myself. And got to see that my neck was basically forward. I didn't have a backwards curve that you should have in your neck. And so I really wasn't doing well. The My brain was not sending the signals down through my spinal cord to other parts of my body. And so there wasn't a good communication between my brain and my arms, even my hand, um, but also my organs in different parts of my body. My digestion was really messed up. And so that's why I stopped eating gluten and dairy. I mean, why is it at one point in your life you can, and really for my entire life, actually, I was eating gluten and dairy with no issues. And then all of a sudden I had these problems. And so I guess gradually over time, my posture had changed and made it difficult uh, for my digestion to, uh, to, uh, to occur the way that it should. And so my C2 really was the one back here on my right side that was affected the most and there was not a strong signal at all that was going down my carotid artery, which then goes through my vagus nerve and to other parts of my body and definitely affects my digestion. One of the things I think it was pretty crazy that I can definitely quantify at least was that every time I got an adjustment from my doctor, I was saying, hey, Dr. Jim, you know, when you adjust me, I, I can see better. And so to me, that's always something I've been very conscious of. I've been very aware of because one of the best feelings to me in the world is getting a new pair of glasses or a new prescription in your contacts and you put them on for the first time and you're like oh my god i could see and everything's so beautiful and amazing and crystal clear some of you guys have never experienced that because you've always had perfect vision but for those of us with bad vision you know exactly what i'm talking about and so i pay attention to that um or i'm very appreciative when that does happen and so literally i was seeing better after an adjustment and I asked my doctor and he said, Oh, well actually Ross, you know, this, this nerve back here, the C2 that comes out from here goes up into your right eye. And I was like, what? And so I actually went to the eye doctor. Turns out I no longer have an astigmatism in my right eye. So, I mean, that's one of actually many improvements in my health, um, just by improving my posture and my spine and aligning it properly. Um, and so chiropractic care, I think, is absolutely critical. I do. I, I uh, would not recommend, I could not recommend Dr. Jim enough, his practice, 
Uh, he's it's, if you're in the area, I would highly recommend going to see him. He also teaches other other chiropractors, and so the organization that he's a part of, I messaged him. He sent me back this organization that it's a nonprofit that he's a part of called Pierce Results System Chiropractic. And so they help teach. In fact, him himself, like Dr. Jim himself, teaches other chiropractors about his chiro- his way of chiropractic, or at least the Pierce system of chiropractic. And so I, I just think this is such a great cause for me, at least. If you guys have a, a good, positive experience with a chiropractor that changed you and your story, I want to I wanna know. So let me know down in the comments. Send me a message. I don't care what you do. I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say. Not every chiropractor is created equal, unfortunately, and that's why I think there's a bad rap around them sometimes. And uh, if you're just open-minded to the right one, like any doctor, you find the right one, the right guy, the right fig guy, <laughs> it can make a world of difference. So, um, yeah, I just uh, I would just highly recommend being a part of this giveaway here, guys, this raffle. So essentially it will be a raffle. And what you can do is you can go here to this link. This PayPal link will send you right here to where you can donate money. And so you'll be a part of the raffle. If you donate at least $10, you'll be uh, put into the raffle. And so at the end of the raffle, you'll have the chance to win, uh, be one of hopefully three winners and so you have a chance to win three cuttings of Noir de Barbantin, Waitriana, Ron de Bordeaux, Panache, and Col Noir. Now, also, there's going to be an additional variety that I will not disclose, but it is definitely well worth your time and something that people do not have. And uh, I think you'll be excited about it. So um, there's that. And so that's a lot of cuttings. In fact, that's probably, what is that, um, 18 cuttings total or something like that? That's amazing. At least 15 cuttings. And so that's $165 value per person, which is about $500 from my own personal um, donation, essentially. And then you guys are going to get something in return, but also we're going to raise $500 in the process, I hope. So Obviously, you can donate more than $10. It's for a great cause, in my opinion. And so it's really close to me and my own health journey. And so uh, that's how it works. We're gonna, You guys are just going to go here. If you want to actually donate, by the way, outside of this, and you don't want to do PayPal, I can send you guys an invoice or something like that, and you can just send me some money, and you'll be a part of it. I'll add you to the list. And what we'll do is we'll do this Wheel of Names thing, which will randomly select... I'll add everybody's name here, click the thing, and then it spins, and then a name will be selected. And so I'll do that three times. We'll announce the winner actually at the end of this. Um, the raffle is going to end Sunday, the 8th, January 8th, and then the winners will be announced Monday, January 9th. And so if you win, please send me your mailing address. I know some people are going to forget, and I'm going to have to hunt you down somehow. Um, but please remember to do that. And then, um, that's it. I think I just would highly recommend guys, please check out the blog. If you haven't already put your email address in here, this is all in the monthly newsletter. You never know in the future. I may do another giveaway and just only include my subscribers to the newsletter. So, uh, yeah, thanks guys for listening. We'll see you soon. Hit that subscribe button. Check you guys out. We'll, well, we'll see you guys for the next one. Take care.